Hey everyone, this is part two to my uh, book collections. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the rest of my books here I retrieved from the uh, <laughs> well one of the drawers over there. But you know, got a lot to show you as you can see. <laughs> so without further ado, here are the uh, infamous Johnny comics, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac by Jonan Vasquez, same guy who did uh, Invader Zim. Wow. Yeah, these are what really, you know, got me hooked, especially reading these in junior high. <laughs> I wanted to do my own, you know, comic series just from this, but, yeah, so as you can see here, this is the fourth issue. Let's put it over here. Uh, second issue. Oh, Lenore. Well, first issue of that, anyway. Just, uh, set up there. Uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, the uh, seventh issue. First comic I got. Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, uh, the fifth. Johnny the Dead Homicidal Maniac, uh, sixth issue. This was pretty funny. And the first issue of Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. Marvel Zombies 2. Well, this is an okay spin-off, you know, zombies. Can't go wrong with that. And this is the uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac uh, big book. You know, it's got all the comics in there. The ones I just showed you. Hot Topic bag. So I or again. And let's see. Bass Street Kids. Uh, had this since I was a kid. I loved reading these from an English, uh, I think, newspaper or something. I don't know. But but these are really fun. Uh, these are, I guess this is from England, I suppose, but, you know, considering when you read it, but it's a pretty good book, nonetheless. <laughs> uh, Stephen King's It. I have yet to finish this, seeing how thick it is. At least that's my attention span. <laughs> I uh, have to get reading on that. Uh, Mr. Bean's Diary, London Sunday Times bestseller. I can see why. <laughs> well, it's not what you think, though. What you read inside. Just a bunch of, like, drawings and scrawled stuff. <laughs> nice picture there. But, man, this was really fun to read, so to speak. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's an interesting one. Mechanismo. Pretty much a, a book my dad had when he had his graphic design job. Uh, sort of had this from a friend of his. But uh, this is really, really interesting stuff. Like a lot of sci fi stuff about machines and robots and all that cool stuff. I hate that dang shadow. <clears throat> but, uh, this is really good stuff. Even some stuff from uh, well, HR Guider stuff. Uh, but yeah, some stuff here from uh, that movie Metropolis also I want to check out sometime. Front cover there. Uh, this is a really good book. <laughs> and The Nightmare Before Christmas storybook, which I showed you in my uh, Nightmare Collection. It's a pretty good book with all of Tim Burton's original drawings. And The Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy. <laughs> this up for you. A lot of uh, Tim's art in there. Really good stuff. And Bog Buddies. <laughs> had this when I was a kid. Because for some reason I was... Uh, fixated on, uh, you know, mummies and stuff like that. So, kind of got to wonder what the teachers are thinking. <clears throat> Last but not least, the, uh, Painted Black book from, uh, from Hot Topic when I was in junior high. So, well, really into the goth stuff. I still am, but 
kind of go in neutral on that. But yeah, it shows you a lot of stuff on how to make uh, picture frames like that, and uh, it's a really interesting book. Really, really interesting. Like how to make 